Head injury is extremely common and probably the kind you've heard of is where somebody has a head injury and gets concussion. Now concussion is just basically head injury that is severe enough to cause some sort of damage to the brain but not specifically bleeding. Normally it's thought to happen because you have a fall, you fall over, you hit something or you're punched or hit and of course that soft, soft brain hits the hard hard skull. Technically, concussion is reversible and temporary, but in some cases, repeated head injuries, it can build up. But let's think about the bleeding because that can be much, much more serious. So an extra dural hemorrhage is potentially life-threatening. Blood from an artery down here is coming out at very high pressure because that artery has been sheared off and so the pressure builds up very, very fast. Then there's active bleeding inside the brain, so-called intracranial hemorrhage, which can also be very severe. It can lead to a catastrophic stroke. A hematoma is a collection of blood which can be very serious if it builds up inside the brain or, for instance, between the brain and the skull, something called a subdural hematoma. Then there's a subarachnoid hemorrhage. Now that doesn't always happen with trauma. Sometimes it happens because you have an abnormality, what's called a little aneurysm in an artery and that bursts and you get what's called a thunderclap headache, so-called first and worst headache. The first headache I've ever had like that and the worst headache I've ever had. Skull fracture is clearly potentially serious because the skull is very, very hard and very resistant to breaking. But if it does break, then obviously your brain is very vulnerable. Because your skull is a ball and there's nowhere for anything to go, it's completely solid and rigid, swelling of the brain caused by a brain injury called cerebral edema can be very serious because there's nowhere for that swollen brain to go. So, lots of different causes, but really, most importantly, know what the warning signs are so that you can seek help if you need to.